morning to all according to our software engineering syllabus we are discussing fourth unit in the fourth unit we have two chapters user interface design and the second chapter is web app design we already completed the first chapter and before entering into the second chapter we will revise a glance what are the concepts in the first chapter the first chapter contain six concepts they are the golden rules the second one user interface analysis and design the third one interface analysis the fourth one interface design steps and the fifth one web app interface design and the last one design evolution so in this revision class we are discussing the first chapter nothing but user interface design in your textbook this chapter are discussed in the 11th chapter so before entering into the concepts of user interface design we should know what is mean by a user interface a user interface means it is a interface which helps the user to interact with the software applications that means it act as a mediator between the software application and the user it helps to interact the user to that software so how to design such user interface we are going to discuss in this concept called user interface design in this chap chapter of user interface design the first concept is golden rules theo mandel suggested three different golden rules for designing the user interface those are the first one place the user in control second one reduce the user's memory load third one make the interface consistent let's come to the first point place the user in control place the user in control means when the user may not force to use any unnecessary concepts or any undesired actions for him that means the we must provide the freedom for the user to use the different concepts in the interface we may not force him that means we must provide the flexible interaction of the user to the user and we may hide all the technical internals from the casual users and we provide or what are the required objects to the user it may appear on the screen directly when you are developing the interface we must to provide all these facilities to the user these are the things we discussed in the point of place the user in control then the second point is reduce the users memory load so that means here by providing meaningful defaults and some shortcuts and short term memory concepts in the interface designing that means when you are providing uh, developing the interface the menus and uh, the shortcut icons names all the things must be provided in a rememberable manner that means already we used in somewhere some same type of concepts or similar concepts if we represented in the interface it make use reduce of memory load of the user and it helps the user also then the third concept is at the third point is make the interface consistent that means when you are developing an interface the interface provided in a consistent manner it may not create any confusion or ambiguity to the user that in a easy manner and meaningful context everything must be provided in the development of interface so these are the three golden rules provided by theo mandel for the development of user interface then the second concept in the first chapter is user interface analysis and design in this chapter sorry in this concept we have two points one is user interface design models and second one is user interface design process let's come to the first point the first point may contain four models they are user model second one design model third one mental model fourth one implementation models let's come to the first one user model user model contain 
all the end users profiles of all the end users use all the end users of the systems profile that means so who are the end users who using the system those profiles must be mentioned in that model such type of model is called user model then second model is design model it nothing but based on the user model a design realization is made such models are called design models then third model is mental model this model is nothing but the user are think in their mind about an interface they imagine a mental image what the interface is such type of model are called as mental model then fourth model is implementation model this is nothing but based on the above models we are implementing the development of interface based on some syntax and semantics that nothing but following some rules and regulations so what is the model we are using for the implementation it comes under implementation models so based on these design models apart from this we have different categories of users so users are broadly categorized into three different types of users in that the first one is novice user and second one is knowledgeable intermediate users and the last one third one is knowledgeable frequent users first one novice users means the users don't know anything they don't know about the computer even they don't know how to use the computer and what is mean by a computer such type of users are comes under novice users then the second one knowledgeable uh, intermediate users so these users know something about computers they know what is mean by monitor cpu keyboard and mouse and but they don't know how to write the program so such type of users are comes under knowledgeable intermediate users then third point knowledgeable frequent users so these users are frequently using the computers and they know how to write the computer so write the programs so they are fully uh, well known people about computer such type of users are comes under knowledgeable frequent users so before developing a model for the interface we need to follow most important two principles are there they are nothing but know the user and know the task that means before developing the interface you must know to whom we are developing this interface then what are the task they can perform with the help of this interface so based on these two important principles we need to develop an interface models then the second point is user interface design process in the design process we have four points one is interface analysis and modeling and second one interface design and third one interface construction and fourth one interface validation let's come to the first one interface analysis and modeling that means when you are developing an interface you must analyze what are the requirements are needed to develop this interface so analyze the interface and prepare the model for the interface after develop analyzed and model we goes to the second step called interface design so prepare a design nothing but an architecture the more your design for the interface so how it must be represented so after design the interface so goes to the third step called interface construction nothing but develop the interface nothing but prepare the interface after developed or constructed the interface then goes to the fourth step called interface validation here checking the interface is happening whether the interface is working properly or not all the objects and actions are placed in a right manner are working in a proper manner checking all these things is happening so these are the points in design process then now we will go to the third concept called interface analysis this concept is nothing but before developing the interface we need to analyze what are the requirements so before discussing that one a small keyword in the software engineering process model that nothing but understand the problem before you attempt to design a solution that means to design any solution or to design or to solve any problem you must know what is the problem is there first understand the problem then start the development of the solution so on the basis of that for the interface analysis we need to understand four concepts 
they are first one the people i think but end users who are interacting with the system then second second one task means the end users that perform to do their works what are the works they are doing so those are called as task then third one content nothing but what is the data or images we are presenting as a part of the interface and fourth one environment so where these tasks will be conducted so these are the four points we need to understand for the concept of interface analysis then we will discuss one by one first one the people nothing but user analysis so we need to analyze the user who are going to use your interface so how we can analyze means with the help of four points one is user interviews sales inputs marketing inputs and support inputs so user interviews means we can interview the users by following set of questions with these types of questions that means whether you are a trained professional of the computer uh, whether you know typing or uh, or you can communicate with the users in a high range or average or what about the user level so to know the user level we can interview them and other points nothing but based on the sales of your concept of marketing supporting what are the different support inputs we can available for our support concept based on all these things we can analyze the users then second point is task analysis and modeling task analysis means nothing but what are the works we can perform by using this interface and what are the sub tasks also we can perform with this work for the work we are doing with the interface so so those works that nothing but what are the tasks we can perform with this analysis oh, sorry interface we can analyze all those tasks this comes under task analysis and modeling then the third concept is analysis of display content this means in the interface development what are the contents we, we want to place the data or images photos etc when you are placing the photos in the interface designing so place the photos in the right side corner and when for the data to easily represent any important concepts or points in that we can make color to them and it may help you to give any warning representations or error messages to the users then come to the fourth point is nothing but analysis of the work environment that means when you are developing an environment interface it must depend upon the work environment based on the environment we want to develop why because means the people do not perform their works in isolation that means individually they perform their works in a group manner so you want to find out what are the physical characteristics of the working place or work place and type of equipment they are using and what relationship they have with other people all these environment work environment you want to analyze and based on that analysis you want to develop the interface so these are the first three concepts in your fourth unit first chapter we are revised in this first video the other three concepts we will discuss in the next video so now based on these three concepts in our revision class we have an assignment for these three concepts so those assignment questions are all two marks questions so here i given five questions they are first one what are the golden rules of user interface design the second one define different categories of users the third one define user analysis the fourth one write about user interface design process with the diagram and fifth one write briefly about how we reduce the user users memory load so these are the five assignment questions belongs to these three concepts discussed in this video write these five questions on the paper or notes and represent your name your roll number and your section in the right side corner of the paper after completed the assignment take a pic of that papers and upload in the whatsapp for our verifications if any doubts if you have related to that concepts and assignments we will discuss in the discuss session
Thank you.